Tatra Masi. You're it. Ha! <laughs> You're everything that's going on. In other words, you are a particular place at which the whole universe is focused. Everything that happens is really God, and this must include the good things and the bad things. Well, what would you think it would be like to see it all as one? You're it. You're it. This, of course, is a doctrine which is very difficult for those brought up in the Judeo-Christian traditions to accept because it is fundamental to Christian and Jewish theology that whatever you are, you are surely not the Lord God because of the feeling that if everything is God, then all moral standards are blown to hell because it means everything is as good as everything else everything that happens is really God and this must include the good things and the bad things and that seems to them a very dangerous idea actually all religious doctrines contain very very dangerous ideas So, if uh, a Christian or a person in a Christian culture announces that he has discovered that he is God, we put him in the loony bin. You're it. Because it's unfashionable to burn people for heresy anymore. But in India, if you announce that you're the Lord God, they say, well, of course. How nice that you found out. <laughs> because everybody is. Well, what would you think it would be? So then, why uh, the great problem arises? Does it appear that we are not? Why do we think? Why do we have the sensory impression that this whole universe consists of a vast multiplicity of different things and we don't see it all as one? Well, what would you think it would be like to see it all as one? Uh, what would it be like to have that? What, how would you feel if you saw everything is really one basic reality? Well, a lot of people think that it would be as if all the outlines and differentiations in the field of vision suddenly became vague, melted, and we saw only a kind of luminous sea of light. But Rather advisedly, the Vedanta philosophy does not really seriously use the word one of the Supreme Self. Because the word and the idea one has an opposite, many, on one side, and another opposite, none, on the other. And it is fundamental to Vedanta that the Supreme Self is neither one nor many, but as they say, non-dual. You're it. And you say, who's in charge around here? Well, nobody's in charge. There never was anybody in charge.